How's it going, guys? We have a bit of an obscure appearing question that uh, if you think this is weird, take it up with the neuroforms for clinical mastery series for the 2CK exam. Not my fucking opinion, okay? A nearly identical tracing shows up. I just inverted it and then uh, horizontal and uh, vertical, okay? But uh, pretty much the same fucking image shows up on the 2CK clinical mastery series questions. Before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. Really appreciate it. Give the video a like. Really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical, M-E-H-L-M-A-N underscore medical. Link is down below. Find me on Telegram. The links to the Telegram group and channel are down below. Now let's start the clip. 71-year-old dude. He has type 2 diabetes, mellitus, and hypertension. And he has a two-week history of visual disturbance. And then our obscure slash nebulous visual fields tracing is shown here. Question wants to know the most likely location of his neurologic compromise. Not going to waste our fucking time, okay? We're going to tell you exactly what you need to know. Now, it appears as though what is contained within the internal boundary of this uh, magenta line here for both eyes is what the patient can see. Therefore, it appears as though... He has a right-sided inferior homonymous quadrantinopia in both eyes. Okay, you say, well, it's not symmetric between both eyes, right? He can see a little bit more out of the right eye as compared to the left. Not my fucking opinion, okay? It's on the NBME exam. So what you need to know is that if you have a homonymous quadrantinopia, then it's going to be, uh, in this case, because it's an inferior one, it's going to be the contralateral parietal lobe as the answer, okay? So this is left parietal lobe. If you have an inferior quadrantinopia, that equals parietal lobe of the, of the contralateral side. If you have a superior quadrantinopia, then it's going to be the temporal lobe of the contralateral side. So if they showed you, for example, that the upper right quadrant you can't see out of, the answer would have been the left temporal lobe, okay? But in this case... It's the left parietal lobe that he can't see, or that the is the location of presumably the stroke based on his history here. Now, frontal lobe is not going to play a role for visual field related stuff. The occipital lobe, if they want that for you simile, they're going to give you a contralateral homonymous hemianopia. Okay, often with macular sparing. Students will get pedantic about that sort of thing. US only doesn't really give a fuck. Okay, well, like what they would do, for instance, is tell you the patient can't see out of the right half of both of his visual fields, out of both eyes. And then the answer would just be left occipital lobe. Not dramatic, not complicated. Okay, so. Obviously, there's other high-yield stuff, like if you have a uh, bitemporal hemianopia, that's a uh, pituitary lesion, right? Like it can be a tumor or apoplexy. That's probably the highest yield uh, for USMLE. But when we talk about this quadrantinopia stuff, hemianopia stuff, absolutely fair game, and you should uh, have a basic understanding. You know the deal. I'm going to continue to make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. I appreciate your time. That's it.